Energy efficient, hygienic and gentle on the environment. That's Datacond ETOS, the new form of precision air conditioning for data centers. From just 5 kilowatts of electric power, the unit achieves a cooling capacity of up to 100 kilowatts. For rooms containing equipment that generates heat, this energy efficiency is especially important. The new Datacond ETOS meets all the latest hygiene standards. A UVC lamp, a catalyzer and monitoring of conductance in the tub prevent the conditions for Legionella bacteria. At a level of 1,000 microsiemens, or after three days at the latest, the water is drained for hygienic reasons and replaced with fresh water. Datacond ETOS features a water-saving mode, which means it is particularly efficient at saving energy and water. The unit operates in five different modes. Datacond ETOS can be optionally equipped with highly energy efficient direct free cooling mode. First of all, the outer dampers open to allow cool outside air into the unit. And then let the air pass through the bypass damper. To do this, the supply and exhaust air fans go up to their rated speed. The air is now blown directly into the building if it meets the recommended outdoor air conditions for data centers. This is ensured using temperature and humidity sensors in the outdoor air. The heat of the servers warms the air supply. The warm exhaust air is then blown to the outside by the exhaust air fans. Another operating mode of the Datacond ETOS is direct free cooling mixed with recirculated air. In typical winter conditions, the exhaust air fans automatically reduce speed. To reach the ideal air conditioning temperature for the data center, the damper on the plate heat exchanger is gradually open. The cold outdoor air is mixed with the warm room air and the fans blow it to the data center. As soon as the air humidity increases, for example due to rain, the outdoor conditions no longer meet the recommendations for data centers. This is when Datacond ETOS starts using indirect free cooling mode. The dampers are open and the bypass dampers close. To prevent damp air getting into the data center, the air flowing in from outside is separated from the data center air by the double plate heat exchanger. In summertime temperatures, Datacond ETOS starts indirect evaporative cooling and cools the supply air temperature to within 1.5K of the wet bulb temperature of the outdoor air. In this mode, the exhaust air fans speed up and the circulation pumps start up. Indirect evaporative cooling is activated using two sets of nozzles. Two air humidifiers transfer water to the warm outdoor air and cool it down. As well as this, the plate heat exchanger cools the air from the data center. The fans then blow the cooled air to the data center. If the outside temperature gets even hotter, maximum indirect cooling mode is activated. The fans automatically go up to maximum speed. 
the air humidifiers remain active. The Datacon Detos fans have a redundant design. In an emergency, the fans have enough spare power to compensate for one of them failing. If the outdoor air temperature increases further and the air is humid as well, the optional integrated mechanical cooling can be activated in addition to evaporative cooling. If the humidifiers fail, the mechanical cooling takes over the cooling completely. The required cooling is ensured by the evaporator in this mode. The condenser dissipates the excess heat. The mechanical cooling is available either as a full backup or for peak load cooling. Datacond ETOS is available in five different sizes of up to 250 kilowatts or 75,000 cubic meters per hour. The unit is modular in design and can be individually adapted to special project requirements.